Hello everyone, welcome to my session nine assignment video. Um, this session is one of the more teacher relevant because it deals with a topic that is often front and center in the media and educational literature, test preparation practices. I chose the Popham text because he devotes an entire chapter to it and explains what he considers appropriate ways to embed test prep into our everyday teaching. Um, again, it will be important for you to watch my presentation, especially the second one, because I go a little further with test prep. I also talk about the DEJ that is due uh, in, the, uh, in two weeks and to what I think you should connect. So make sure uh, both uh, videos are worthwhile. The second one, I really explain what you should be putting in your double entry journal. So if you want some good advice, watch them. Um, many of you have reacted from personal experience when talking about large scale uh, standardized tests. You didn't do well, therefore you generalize that tests can't be good for all students. As I mentioned in my presentation, you can be assured that these tests are not going away. Now that Questar Inc. is creating our state assessments, uh, and NYSID is calling for more teacher involvement, hopefully the tests will be improved. But you absolutely cannot pass along your distaste for them to your students. Um, you need to check out the articles in Session 9 Course Materials handouts. And um, you can see that uh, I, in the Session 9 folder, uh, I have the assignments, uh, reading assignments, uh, Popham Chapter 14, that's the major one. Uh, there's also an article by Doug Reeves, um, more writing in the classroom rather than uh, test prep, and uh, five ways to make test prep engaging. So those are your three main articles. When you do your double entry journal, you need, it's absolutely uh, mandatory that you connect to those uh, three texts. Now there are also ancillary materials that uh, many of you will find interesting. Seven ways to survive testing season, uh, teaching tips for test anxiety, uh, standardized test prep. Um, test prep doesn't have to be overwhelming and mindfulness stress reduction. So um, those are all important because people constantly complain about test prep anxiety, how kids are throwing up, uh, and yet nobody talks about, hey, do you know there's ways to relieve that kind of anxiety that we can do right in our classroom? So uh, this is a, a really important unit um, that uh, there's information that really will help you with test prep. And I know those some of you are in charter schools and your administrators believe that uh, mindless test prep for, for like months before the test uh, is important and I think this that you should share some of this information with them uh, even though Success Academy can say look hey look at our test scores but I think their test scores have a lot more to do with the, their teaching strategies rather than their uh, test prep strategies. so um, so you're going to continue working on your on revising your uh, selected response test this week. I have not finished giving feedback, so do not revise your test until I have done that. Uh, I'm going to be working on that uh, t Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully I'm done by Wednesday uh, or at least by Thursday, uh, at the latest by the end of the week. Um, so um, don't revise your test until I've, I've done that. Um, I've made the revised selected response test discussion board available. If you go into, um, all my, into discussions, you'll see it. Um, select a response uh, test answers with feedback. Um, doesn't look like I made this one available. Um, so um, in, in, that, um, in that discussion board, you're going to post your you're going to post your revised test. You'll, you'll see that there are new groups. Um, and the reason for that is so you're going to be taking different people's tests. 
Uh, I did it randomly, so you may be in uh, the same group, but um, that's not, you're not, you don't have to do that till uh, two weeks. So April 23rd is when that is due. Um, so, but this week you're going to have uh, a double entry journal that's due. Um, and that's going to be on Popham's chapter five, uh, test prep, and you're going to make connections to um, those materials that I mentioned. So uh, that's due in two weeks. So you have two weeks for that as well. Um, you have another true false test this week on test prep. And again, this, this, the two true false quizzes were created by Popham or one of his grad students. I don't know which. Um, and again, one of the questions is what I, is I consider poorly written. Um, and it's what I call a trick question. It's what Clay calls a trick question. Uh, if you email me with why you think you got it uh, correct or why you got it wrong, uh, I'll give you credit. Again, I would take the hard copy first and then go into the quiz discussion board and talk about the ones with which you might have been confused. Again, there's only a few people that are doing that. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you how you can make uh, summative assessment be formative. Um, so. If you don't want to take advantage of that, of course, that's your choice. Um, lastly, I placed the course evaluation uh, in the uh, in in my in the uh, assignments. Um, I'm sure you've been getting emails about these already. Uh, <laughs> I have. <laughs> uh, I think I get one every day uh, about making making sure my students are. Gonna, um, I, this, it's really important that you do this. I've had a, I have a link here to it um, that you can just click on and you can give numbers one to five, um, but the numbers aren't as important as the comments. The comments actually show me um, what you find troubling, what you find good about it, um, and that's really what my supervisors need to see as well. That's the only feedback they get. Uh, on me. Nobody comes and observes me. I, nobody, I know nobody's uh, checking on my course uh, because I've volunteered to do that for all online courses and nobody's taken me up on it yet. So, so uh, make sure you do the course evaluation. Uh, there, there's your readings, your double entry journal. You can click on this and upload it as a Word document. Um, here's Doug Reeves' article, Writing Not Test Prep. Uh, this is the Solend article uh, addressing test anxiety. Uh, so, um, and then of course there's the ancillary materials, which uh, I would also recommend in course materials. Uh, there's two exemplar test prep uh, double entry journals. Um, they're not perfect, but uh, they are of high quality. Here's the hard copy for your quiz, <coughs> and. There are many things in here for uh, test prep, uh, how to make it engaging, uh, how to survive the testing season, standardized test preparation. <coughs> so a lot of good stuff in here. Um, I would download it and save it just for your own uh, benefit and for reading. If you're not going to read it now, reading at a, a, a later date. So, so that's it for this week's assignments. Uh, again, you, uh, you have to upload your um, you you have to upload your answers to your uh, group mates tests and uh, and and uh, others to include six. So you have to have six uh, uploads to that discussion board uh, to the um, selected response answers with feedback. That's due at the end of this week. Um, you have to take the tests of your uh, group mates and you can also take the tests of other group people. It's, it's a revised, I'm using the revised uh, modified discussion board rubric. So you, if you make up to 10 posts, uh, you get that advanced credit. I mean, you can still get a 95 with just uh, posting in the first four days uh, and then making six uh, comments. So. Take, the, take your, uh, the tests of your groupmates and of one or two others 
Uh, look for those groups that aren't uh, participating right away and, and try to take those tests as well. Uh, so that's it. That's it for this week. I hope uh, that explains everything. I know I've gotten an uh, email already asking about this week's assignment. So hopefully this will clear everything up or make it more confusing. <laughs>